right now it's uh, 1.25 in the morning and I just got back um, at the yard. I usually want to get in a last load, like maybe if I have four loads, I usually want to get in load number five. If I have five loads, I usually want to get in load number six, a load that is close by. But for some reason, every time I ask for uh, the last load, something happens. Okay, it's not every time. Maybe that's an exaggeration. Usually, uh, or let me say sometimes when I ask for that last load, something goes wrong. The chassis is wrong. I have a tire failure. I need to do a flip. Today it was on the tracks. Something goes wrong. At one time I tried to figure out when something goes wrong, how much do I earn? Because I'm trying to get $25 for that one load. But sometimes a load that was supposed to take me like 40 minutes ends up taking me two or more hours, which means I'm working at maybe like 10 bucks or even sometimes less. So I stopped asking for those extra loads. But every now and then I do ask for it because I need it. Just came into Almighty and uh, go home. I'll see you tomorrow. If I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you next time. So as I promised that I would see you tomorrow, well, today is tomorrow. Well, it's today, but it's tomorrow. You get the idea? So right now I'm just gonna do an in-gate to the Lord to start off my day. Pick up a load from there, take it to Dallas, and then head over to Anis, do a pickup that comes back here to Hustle. One of the cool things that um, YouTube has given me an opportunity to do is to make new friends with some of you guys. I've been able to meet uh, some of you in person and I've, uh, every now and then I run into somebody who says, oh, I, I've seen your channel on YouTube. I've been able to connect with some really good friends. There's one, one friend of mine that uh, is a very good friend, at least I consider him to be a good friend but we haven't yet met in person. He used to live hundreds of miles away from me, but a couple of months ago, they moved to Texas. So right now he lives uh, just tens of miles, no longer hundreds of miles, just tens of miles away from me. He works with JB Hunt, and right now he's from the Hazlet Terminal. We haven't yet met. Yesterday we almost met. Uh, we were like communicating, trying to figure out where he was and where I am, and then, we had this moment where we were both of us we were here in the rail i was almost getting out of the rail when i received his message and he was telling me he was at he was in the rail so i stopped the track uh tried to figure out where he was he told me he was in row uh row six right now i'm in row six these rows are numbered so you can be able to figure out where your trailer is so he told me he was in row six so I was in row 10, I drove from row 10, I come to row 6. I drive through the whole of row 6 and I didn't see him. And so I thought maybe he made a mistake, he's in row 8. So I go and drive through row 8 and I didn't see him. So I decided, oh well, maybe he left or something. So I told him, hey, I've been in row 6, I drove through row 6 but I didn't find you. He's like, are you serious? That's where I am. I'm like, I drove through the whole row, I didn't see you. So he says, he realizes he had made a mistake. He was actually in row four. So if I had, instead of going to row eight, if I had gone to row four, I probably would have met him, but uh, we didn't get to meet. I had to rush all because I was really, I wanted to get in my third load. So I had to rush off. And so we were that close to meeting. 
we didn't meet but i'm sure we'll have to meet because he has to buy me a cup of tea I guess it's still 20. I'm done here so let's head to Anis now. in case you are wondering the only reason I stopped was to warm up my tea Just made it to Anis and it's my first time coming to this location. Usually we go to the other place right there across the street. That's where we go but today I had to come here. So let me go check in.
that's not the door, so I need to look for the entrance. It's not that one either. So I guess what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the other location and see, maybe they will give me the paperwork and then tell me to come pick up the trailer because I don't see anyone here. So yeah, that looks like it's gonna work. What they want me to do is drop my trailer, uh, my empty here, go pick up the other load. They've told me where to pick it up from, from the other side. And they've given me the container number and then I'll come back here for my paperwork. So I'm back in Haslet. I uh, just dropped off my load. I have my pickup. I'm taking this to Fort Worth. After I, I make that delivery, I have a pickup in Garland that comes back here. But before I take this to to the delivery, I'm just gonna pass by the pilot, take my my 30 minute break, and then I'll go make the delivery, head over to the pickup. Uh, that will be load number four. So i'm thinking if everything goes well i should be able to put in load number five for the time is 2018. i'm gonna get myself another cup of tea and then after my break i'll get out of here unfortunately they don't have uh, that tea that i love to dr to drink it's called um english breakfast it's usually here they don't have it, so I'm going to try Bombay Chai. So right now I'm in Nessos in Fort Worth. I think you guys are tired. I'm not gonna bother taking you to my next stop. So right now I'm just gonna go check in and until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye bye.